Jerry. Rabakashata, Rebeke. I say, see you. You're the most selfless human being that I've actually seen with my two eyes. Heard. NSP Pidians, what God cannot do truly does not exist though. I'll give you my testimony and just please bear in mind that this is not part of my prayer points. Just to, just to let you know how God even works. I mean, I've seen how God even works. I've been on the prayer altar since 2022, March. Um, my in-law from Houston, Texas sent it to me. Said, Sebastian, look, like, please. I know you're a bit funny about African pastors, but this guy, he's in the spirit. Thank the Lord that I was not ignorant. I just watched it and I've been hooked since then. When I say hooked, I mean Thursday, NSPPD, Sunday, all everything I watch. Anything with PG, I, I'm on it. Because I learned everything new. Back to the testimonies. My foot had a foot problem. All of a sudden, foot problem. I've been on the waiting list, trying to have, to have an operation for my foot and everything. I've been waiting for a while. The days were coming closer. And funny enough, I joined the NSPPD in March 22nd. I think my, my operation was meant to be like, maybe like a month after that, maybe maybe around June, March, June, about June. I was thinking, I'm looking at this fire out, I'm thinking, what is going on? My foot, I couldn't stand properly. Basically, my foot was like this. Yeah, you can see the pressure points. I couldn't stand flat on my foot for some reason. I don't know where this came from. I don't even wear, walk barefoot. I don't, I literally, cut long story short, I called the doctors. I said, I'm canceling the operation. I'm canceling it. He said, what do you mean, Sebastian? You've been waiting for a while. And we had it in Guy's Hospital. I said, listen, I'm on the fire out now. <laughs> God is the one that God is the real doctor that does not lose no patience. So me, I believe I know who I believe. As Pastor Pastor Jerry would say, I know who I believe. Man. This was the cancellation letter. Right here, you can see. Cancellation letter. To cancel it in the NHS. Right? Cool. Now, I didn't even know where my leg got healed. Second testimony. HIV ES. On the 10th of August, Thursday, exactly 46 minutes, 49 seconds. He called out HIVES Heinz. Now I ate something and my body had an allergic reaction to. I started getting bumps on my body. And I couldn't believe it. This is this is what it looks like. This is even okay, but I had it all over my arm, everything, my back, my foot, my, my foot, my leg, my, my leg, my every I had just bumps. I'm thinking, what is this? I come back home. I'm not listening to an SPPD. I think that was on uh, the 10th of August, Thursday. I think I went to the place on Tuesday. Thursday. Wednesday, I found out what the name was of what I had. It was called Hives, H-I-V-E-S. Thursday, Pastor Jerry calls it and says, H-I-V, he literally spells it. So I can see H-I-V-E-S. He doesn't know what that is. H-I-V-E-S. That's what I see. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I command, let it be reversed. Lord, be I looked up in shock. I said, Hives. This is exactly what I have. And he's actually calling it. I can't believe this. Rakash, I cannot believe this. Pastor Jerry. The day after that, or two days after that, it disappeared. Gone. Gone, 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 gone. I just want to give God the glory because I'm not trying to hold. Like I said, people, this is not what's part of my prayer point, though. This was just God doing, showing extra, just doing things to let me know that He is around me. I used to suffer from panic attacks. Like, so I would sleep, I would wake up. Oh, I need air, you know, I need water. I sleep phew, like a baby. Literally sleep, no sound. Unless I, when I want to wake up. So I just want to give God the glory. In fact, this is how consistent I've tried to be. You know, I, I don't want to miss it. I want to be the first one in the class. First one in the altar. Is there anything God is doing, me and Del. You know? And I've made it, I've actually made uh, an album. An album of number one on NSPPD YouTube let's click yeah let's click let's click January 3rd for six months so it's now first 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 watching first second yeah you can see the dates you can see that first 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 one watching first one like can scroll for, for, for in fact let me show you the album this is the album uh, let me give you a random one Again, 1st February. Let's go again. Album. 
I don't mean anything to do with him. This is anything to do with being first, first. I've tried to be consistent and I can see God working in my life. My prayer life has changed. My consecration has changed. I even do midnight prayers. I'll be sleeping at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Like I'm just, I'm just listening to what our Papa is saying. And it's working. It is working. It is working. It is working. We ask and we receive. So like I said, I just want to give God all the glory, all the thanks, give him the praise. It's all him. It's all him. I'm away from testimonies, away from miracles. I just want to thank you, Pastor Jerry, because it's truly you've changed my life. The way I am closer to God, even the music, even the music I listen to. I'm not gonna lie to you. I used to listen to RB, hip hop, all this. My playlist now is all gospel. Though, and I enjoy it. I love you. I love you. I love God bless you. God bless your wife. God bless your kids. I pray for God to give you more strength to keep going. What God cannot do truly doesn't exist. I'm calling from the UK, London. What Abba Father cannot do does not exist. What Jehovah cannot do does not exist. My name is Ngozi. I'm making this video from United Kingdom. 2019, we came to this country. Who oh, I'm believing God for our documents. My residency permit. When we submitted everything, they was asking different, different things for us to bring, they bring that, and they are looking for a daily fault for we to not have our document. But I see in this altar of fire, I'm praying, asking God. I remember for after then we are praying one day. Pastor Jerry was mentioned that today God, I say yes. God say yes. I claim for it. I say yes. I believe that God has answered my prayer. God has gone after the document. That the same week after praying. Oh, look at my evidence, Pastor Jerry. Look at my evidence. Me and my children, we have our evidence. What Jehovah cannot do does not exist. I want to do this very video to thank God that God we are faithful. Pastor Jerry, you are only in your head, never run dry. We stay in this altar. What Jehovah cannot do does not exist. My name is Eunice, testifying from Nottingham. United Kingdom. I am that woman that God has shown mercy. I've been believing God for immigration settlement in the UK here and um, things hasn't been going as planned since the beginning of this year. I've been believing God. I've always been on the altar of fire, praying to God, asking for his mercy. God showed up for me on the 11th hour. This month, November, since the beginning of this month, everything has just been aligning. I've been receiving evidences back to back to back to back. Like I can't, I'm just over when papa used to say how will you scream i don't know I, I i i don't know how to scream like today's own is just is just is, is just the blast this morning during the altar of fire papa was saying you will receive your evidence and god says yes congratulations i mentioned my name he said we should turn to all four corners of the of of the hurt i did it i mentioned my name i said you need to receive that email you've been expecting before the end of this week i don't know god would come through for me immediately like immediately after the prayers this morning that email i've been expecting for months it came into my phone i received the alert immediately after the prayer this morning i am here to testify the goodness of god i am here to testify that through this altar God has answered me. God has now made me a UK citizenship. I am now a UK citizenship. And God has given me my own passport. I am grateful for what God has done in my life. I won't take it on granted. I am here to testify that God of this commission has answered me. Thank you, Pastor Jay, for all the praise that you have been doing on this on this altar of fire. Thank you that the oil on your head will never run dry. Hallelujah! Glory! Thank what you, God, God cannot, cannot do, do does, does not exist. Pastor Jerry will always ask, when God does it, how will he shout? I couldn't shout. Yesterday, when we were praying, um, Pastor Jerry kept saying, God is melted in you. When they see you, they will see God. I held on to that word. I held on to that word because it's not a coincidence that today, the last day of NSPPD for um, uh, prayers for um, September, is the day I was supposed to go for my final court hearing towards my immigration. Today, we started. We, I got to the court. 
and we started the hearing. I looked at everybody. I was the only black woman. I was the only black there. I was like, mm, I shall trust God. My heart was racing, but I held on to my two mantles. I kept saying and confessing what God cannot do does not exist inside of me. I kept confessing it. We started the hearing. Judge had asked the immigration lawyer if um, she had any questions for me. She said no. Do you oppose? Uh, do you have any opposing anything? Uh, are you opposing any of the thing um, that me said? She said no. The judge just said, "I'm not opposing to it being granted." And I heard, "Welcome to America. You're on your journey to becoming Ameri an American citizen." I only just joined in September, and I have carried my own evidence. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you for igniting the fire in us. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for God. Thank you for answering this call. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. I'm Elizabeth from Elorin Kwara State, Nigeria. I was introduced to this fire altar around July this year. Around July this year, initially I was skeptical about it, but I joined fully around August this year without even knowing what is ahead of me. It all started around early, early September this year. I started experiencing pain and my knee got swollen up. I went to the hospital. I was referred for X-ray. And I did the X-ray. It was referred that I had knee bursitis. This is the X-ray where there is evidence of fluid filling my real, my knee region. And this is the doctor comment. It was revealed that I have knee bursitis, large bursitis on my knee. So I undergone series of treatment. I was placed on treatment for two weeks. After the two weeks, there was no changes. I was referred from that hospital to another hospital. In that second hospital, the, drug, the doctor performed aspiration on my knee. Meaning of that aspiration is they removed fluid out of my knee. They evacuated fluid out of my knee up to 60 minutes. I went back home without any changes. The knees started getting swollen up again. I have to go back to hospital. They did the second aspiration without any positive result again. I couldn't go to my workplace. I have to write a letter to get permission for sick leave in my workplace. I couldn't use my leg to work. The doctor recommend that before I can use it to work, I should go, I should use knee brace, which means that without using this knee brace, I could not move, I could not use my knee. So, and it is be difficult, it has been difficult for me. I was fed up on 26th of October. As that very night, I started crying to God. Like, God, you must have mercy on me. If you can heal HIV on this fire water, if you can cure cancer, if you can bring back dead person to life, my home will not be an exception. I cried throughout that night, and behold, in the morning of that October 27th, my case was mentioned by Pastor, where he said, and I quote, I can hear it. Nebusitis is refast. I hear it. Nebusitis. 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 Lekoras. If you are the one, put it on the last river. Say, I am the one. Zakata. Rekoras. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I announce. Let it be reversed. I don't know the time when I started jump up. I, start, I started shouting, I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one. God, thank you. Since then, my knee that was swelling up, there's no more fluid in my knee. I can use my legs to walk now. I can use my leg to do everything. I can. I didn't, I, I didn't use knee, knee brace again. Since then, I've regained my healing. I thank God. I return all glory, adoration unto God for healing me on this altar. I pray that the oil upon your head, Pastor, it will not run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. 
your ministry will continue to work stronger and stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. What God cannot do does not exist. Good morning, Pastor Jerry. My name is Faith and I'm doing this testimony from Sulija in Nigeria. Sometimes last year, I was on this prayer altar and I prayed to God for a change of levels in my job. God answered me and gave me a job with a multinational company. And then I was happy because the job was okay. It paid better than where I was. In that same job, it was not up to a year. I got promoted to a supervisory role. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, that did not stop. I was still on this same prayer altar. I was still praying. I said, God, you that you have done this, you will bring a better one. Early this year, a, a colleague of mine in my place of work then sent me a link that, ah, let's apply to this company. It's a multinational company and they, they pay well and, you know, career growth and all that. I said, okay, let me apply. The two of us, we applied together, Pastor Jerry. Hmm. I got called. I went through the aptitude test. I did all the interviews. I, d I scaled through everything. I didn't know I was going to be called Pastor Jerry. Hey! The way you tell us that, how would we shout? Hmm. When I got the invite for the first interview, I was just shout. I say, ah, ah. Do you know how many times I've tried to get a job in this company? Hmm. The second one, the third one, I scaled through. I said, protocols were jumped for my sick. There were, there were other um, uh, screenings I needed to go to, but when it got to my own turn, they say no, just allow her go. Pastor Jerry he used to pray for us that what we are keeping money, what we are saving money for, will be given to us for free. Pastor Jerry, that is my testimony. Last year, I was planning to get a car like okay same to do the work because my work is on the field i was just praying to god i was putting up money i'll just i'll just try drink to see i'll buy <laughs> it's not a brand new to see i'll buy a second hand car pastor jerry this job offer came with a brand new tail leather car what millions of naira <laughs> pastor jerry when i saw my 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 take home my uh, my pa ano uh, pastor jerry i was just shouting i was just shouting i was just saying what god cannot do does not exist what god cannot do what god, it it because it is just mind-blowing i didn't expect that this year i will get a job with this amount of take home and still have a brand new car what i've been saving money for to buy second hand hey god gave me brand new tear leather you can see i'm inside the car oh, see brand new tear leather see the key it's not even to see you see hmm pastor jerry i have come to say thank you to the god of this prayer altar thank you pastor jerry thank you for always prophesying the word upon us thank you for always encouraging us to pray this is just a tip of the iceberg i'm still coming for more 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 testimony and on this altar hmm, we stay here thank you very much i love you my name is Joy from Port Harcourt. I've been sick and I had to go to the clinic. And they said I'm having hypertrophy. I don't know what that means. They asked me to run some tests. I did the tests and I was having high blood pressure, 145 over 105. And sometimes I have panic attacks. But my revelation came numerous times because I hear hypertrophy, hypertrophy. And they asked me to run an echo test. But Pastor Jerry said, whatever they saw, they will unsee. What they saw before, they will not see it again. I went for the test on the 27th of October and I got my test result on the 3rd of November. This is my evidence. They saw nothing wrong with me. I just want to give God all the glory. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, may the oil on your head never run dry. I'm making these videos from Patakot, Nigeria. My name is Aike Chukuru Ejenida. This evening started 2019. And under that 2019, I fell down more than 50 times. And then the last one, they rushed me to hospital. And after the expert, they described and making a series of tests. 
and I decided and they say that uh, my heart, the blood, uh, the, the vein that is pumping blood in my heart is weak, and they are going to plant a, a battery in my to help my heart to pump blood. I said no. And after then, they discharged me from the hospital. I came back to the house and I believe in God that God will do it, praying, asking God. The word of knowledge came in August 16th. I don't know what is happening to the valve of your heart. Oh. What is happening to the valve of your heart? Jesus. They said they will put something there. Jesus. They will put an equipment there. Oh. I don't know oh. if you are the one oh. put it on the live stream. Oh. They said they will put something external Jesus. because of what is going on Jesus. in the valve of your heart. About the power that raised Jesus. Jesus from the dead. Let it be reversed. I clean it and I, everything about my heart. Before then, my heart, my DP was up to 150, 180, 190, and everything ceased. Everything ceased after the word of knowledge. I'm that woman that God shows mercy. I was suffering from heart failure for the past two years. It was on May this year I went to see my heart doctor. He asked me to do a lot of tests. This is the result of the test. He gave me a lot of prescription to go and buy. Then I used to take 17 tablets every day. Since on May, I have been in that fire altar. It was on August that my case was mentioned. Anyone with any form of heart failure, by the mercy of God, let it be reversed right now. I was happy. I was even crying. So this is me. I cannot hide what God has done in my life. I don't sleep in the night. My, my breathing will be so high that everybody will know that I am breathing. I can be able to sleep now. I give all the glory to God and thanks to Pastor Jerry. My name is Miranda and I'm testifying from Cameroon. Hey! Wait till God know if you do know they exist. So on the 29th of September, my father went to the hospital for a routine checkup, just to check up to know how his health was. When he did the test and the results came out, it was full of so many abnormalities. He was said to have left ventricular hypertrophy, abnormal repolarization in the inferior segment of his heart and other abnormalities. Since that 29th, when we received the results, we started kicking in with prayers. We said God is going to reverse this pastor jerry mentioned my father's case he said left ventricular hypertrophy be reversed reverse left ventricular hypertrophy by the power that raised jesus from the dead i announce let it be reversed ha! immediately all of us claimed it so that morning when my father went and they did the cardiac ultrasound hey people of god all those abnormalities which they said uh, have left ventricular hypertrophy what 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 nothing was seen my father's heart was in perfect shape ah! my name is ken and i'm making this uh, video from port harcourt i had a contract in nine zeros and that contract failed and it was a contract with a bank guarantee and suppliers for no reason they failed me. Now I was slated to do another one, which they gave me, which was still higher in the amount, but still nine zeros. And they still failed me again with bank guarantee on top. These are jobs that people give to people, deals that come without even a PG. But in my case, a PG came. But to Jerry, because of that. The company blacklisted me. I was blacklisted that they were not going to give me any job and all that. So for two years, I wanted them to like reinstate me and all that. But the MD of the company, they refused. So for two years, I didn't communicate to him because, in fact, he didn't want me to communicate to him because of the failure. But Pastor Jerry, being on this altar, God answered me. July, there was something you said. That was furnace of fire. Pastor Jerry, you said put down the things you want to begin from today. 
it was 11th July, it was on a Tuesday, and I wrote down the MD's name because since two years after the blacklisting, he has not communicated to me. So I wrote down his name and I said he should accept me and then consider me for the contracts again. That was what I wrote down on the 11th. And on that same 11th, you gave some words, some word of knowledge. And you said, go and sit on your new throne. New deals for you. You are stealing new deals. New deals. I go and sit on your new throne. Go and wear your new crown. Rest every right now. That was what you, 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 you said. The next day came, which was 12th. I had my phone on, my WhatsApp. I had sent the MD some messages. Two years, he had not spoken to me. And 12th was still furnace of fire. I mean, furnace of answers. And you gave words, and you said on the 12th, uh, what you wrote down and has not happened, that in three hours, it will begin to happen. And you said again, I hear the Lord say, mercy for new beginning. Mercy has terminated old chapters. The affliction you once knew is no longer there. But while you were saying these words, my messages that I had sent to the man, while in the prayer, it was just 7.29, he has replied me. Pastor Jerry, that was mind-blowing. This is a man that has not replied me for two years. But the man replied me as we were praying on the altar. Precisely 7.29, 29 minutes after 7. Pastor Jerry, lo and behold, they pushed the job to me which was three times bigger than the amounts that were given to me before. Pastor Jerry, remember they are in nine zeros. Uh -huh. Nine zeros. Even the first time when I went there to the office, I told them, I told the business development manager that, that I have come to take over every other contract. And he was looking at me. I said it boldly because I knew where I was coming from. Pastor Jerry, I'm the one dictating how much it should be. 11 zeros and 12 zeros. Pastor Jerry, with a pray in the bizarre. It don't be so for me. Father Jerry, may the oil on your head never run dry. I pray that God will continue to strengthen you. This grace and unction on your life will increase and increase and increase. And God will use you, use you mightily to break limitations in the lives of people. And let's be video so For one second, we're trying to understand. I was trying, I was trying to ask my wife. I said, "What exactly is he talking about? Nine zeros are billions, right? Twelve zero is what? Is a billion. That is now twelve zero is plus three. So it's trillion, billion. Pastor, okay, you don't know math. Don't confuse me. I know this math. I know this math. Is it not billion that is in there? Billion is nine zeros. Billion is three zeros. Billion is three zeros. Billion is trillion. So trillion is nine. The thing has come beside. It's trillion. From billions to trillion. That's why it says three times more than what he has ever asked for. Jesus. Hey! 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 <laughs> Nine plus three is twelve. Now, yes. You know, you guys hey! do not do this here. Are oh you kidding me? <laughs> we <laughs> the pray. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, hey! he took it to another level. He said, oh, "We the pray, he the bizzle." Jesus, hey! Jesus! Somebody under the sound hey! of my oh, voice. My hey! As your hey! amen will thunder. Oh, Let the God. Multiply his own, multiply your own. Amen. Receive it right now. I receive it right now. Amen. Oh, I love that Lord second Jesus. We the pray. He the peace. People of God, two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. A man reply. did not reply you. Nothing. Why you are on the prayer. altar? And on you were saying eh? in three hours. In three hours. hours. In less than three it's hours. Hey. 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 Hey.
God cannot do it. Jesus, no, Jesus. Let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> we, are, we have had enough oh, for today. We, we've had enough. Hey, oh, what is this? Hey. What is this? Hey. 12 zeros. God. To hey. this great yeah, 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 God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Who does wonders without numbers? Hey. To him the other glory. Hey. People of God, this is where we arrange things. So. Hey. This is where we arrange things. Yes, so. hey. Arrange helpers. Arrange yes. kings. Yes, arrange sir. bankers. Yes, Anything sir. you do, this is where we arrange yes, it. For what our God cannot do. Does so not exist. Exist. People of God, time will fail me. Like, yeah. like totally we had like, uh, how many testimonies today? Like four plus four, four plus uh, four. four, four that's that, 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 that's, that's crazy that's testimony. Four. We just kept lumping all yes, of them. To God is here. Yes, God is overworking. Yes, you, God is overworking. Thank Immigration you, testimonies, four of them. Look at what the Lord did. Heart diseases, four of them. Look at what the Lord did. What our God cannot do. Does not exist. Look at the knee. knee <laughs> what, hey. does, what does that even mean for what crying out loud? Hey. I don't even know. Jesus. People oh, of God, Jesus. this God is good. Yes, this God is good. And people of God, look at also the miraculous uh, career breakthrough. Yes, she was saving to buy, buy a second hand car. Hand car. Hand car. Hand car. Look at her sitting brand in her brand, brand new, new car. car. See her leather. Leather. Somebody you tear leather I, this week. I, no, no, you, you will tear the, it's you Amen. that I am talking to. Receive it right now. Amen. And SPB, they answer, what we they pray. In the business. <laughs> what our God cannot do. Does does not not God is giving people money. Oh. Yes, sir. What Jesus. our God hey. cannot do. Does, does not exist. 12. 12, 12 zeros. 12. 12 zeros. 12 digits. 12. 12. Ay, 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 ay. 12. 12. I'm speaking your own 12 hey, into it. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. Hey, Hey. And hey. if you're ready, NSPVDNs, we're ready. We wow. pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very blood of Jesus. Amen. We pray over every substance. It ceases to be ordinary. Amen. It becomes the flesh of Jesus. Amen. And our first communion is a communion that says, it is done. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our second communion is a communion that says, it is done. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our last communion is communion of answers. Will you get on your knees wherever you are and begin to thank the Lord over those three things. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord over those three things. Thank the Lord over those three things. Kapa de boro shabadia, erebe de bosada, eliba da kashabada, kero sopoto la bara shiba da yada, elebe da koro sopoto la bara shiba de yada kate, ende bere koso, ejabada balabara. I decree it is done. Amen. Go ahead and eat of the flesh of Jesus, and drink of the blood of the new covenant. Amen and amen. amen. And people of God, God has given you a testimony. Send in your video testimony this weekend. Use this weekend. You heard the testimonies of others and you were elated. Send in the testimonies of others. Send in your testimony rather. Send in your testimony. You heard the testimonies of others. And I beg of you, don't keep it back this week. Use this weekend. Do all your video testimonies and send it into this number 08055 And if you're sending from out of Nigeria, be cautious to add the code plus 234-8055-8186. I've seen people lose their miracles because they didn't share their testimony. But this is not about the loss. It's about gratitude to God. Send in those video testimonies immediately for what our God cannot do. Does not, exist. not exist. And people of God, it's important that I remind you right now that if you have not yet followed me on any of my social media handles, I'm not sure you're doing the right thing. Go ahead and follow immediately on any.